Hey guys, Beth here. So I thought today I'd come to you and share with you what I got from the Allure Beauty Box. It's a subscription for, I think it's $27 and you get six items. You get a couple of full size items and then a couple of sample size or minis. And yeah, so I have three months worth and I doubled up on February. So the first month I have here is the first month that I subscribed with it or resubscribe because I did have it a while back um and yeah they got me with the YSL lipstick you guys um I was like they can't be giving that away and they sure were so I I got it I'm gonna start out with that item um so this is one of the boxes to the February ones I got comes with this little um booklet and it tells you about the products that you received and yeah so this one I got in 162 the Ives Saint Laurent plushing or pulsing rose hip is the color. I don't know if this was the first box I got because I got the box and then I purchased it in their shop. So like Ipsy or Boxy Charm, they have a shop where you could purchase stuff. Um, this is the shade. It is so pretty. I would put it on right now, but I have lipstick on, so I'm not gonna mess that up. I just wanted to share the color with you. These, this is like my first YSL lipstick or the two that I got in these boxes. And I'm so excited to have them. They're so luxurious looking and feeling. They're just very like glossy and balmy and they're very sheer. I just think they're really pretty. So um, I'll definitely be able to use these up, I think, eventually someday. <laughs> the next item I got was this have a I have a um, time to hydrate essential day moisturizer so it's for dry skin normal to dry skin and so it's just like a lotion and I do have a hand cream that I've been using that I think I received in boxy charm so um, now I have a body lotion in the same brand then I got this FP natural mask multitasking skincare tri balm it says cleanse exfoliate moisturize three in one um, geranium and mandarin scent there's the box I haven't opened this one so this makes me believe this is the second box I bought not the first the one that came in my my subscription this is the one I bought on their site because yeah I haven't opened these and I think I got something different in the other one I'm trying to find scissors here so I can open this um, I just did my nails with like gel and I already popped one off i'm trying to keep them on but and do like home gel manicures so i don't spend a lot of money i just feel like when i go to the salon it's always hard to get them off and i don't like to keep my nail polish on for too long okay this is coming with a 50 percent off three in one full size miracle tri bomb so i guess this isn't isn't the full size and it came with this 50 percent off coupon but let's open this up and see what it is Okay, let me rub it. I think it's just a bon uh, stick cleanser. It smells like a cleanser and it feels like a cleanser. I think it's just like a balmy cleanser. You could probably rub it over your face and then wash your face off at night. So that's kind of neat. Or maybe if you're like traveling and don't want to take a liquid, this would be a good option to have. Then that last item I have in this box, now I think there's something missing. So I had one, two, three, four. Did I take stuff out? I think I took stuff out, you guys. I am so sorry. I know I have like this happy, lush, like exfoliator. Let me see if it's in here. Where's the tri bomb that have? Yeah, so it looks like this. This is in my shower right now. I've been using it. It's a nice exfoliator. It kind of reminds me of one that I tried before, it was kind of like small exfoliating. It like, it feels like I'm getting microdermabrasion in the shower. Um, so yeah, I got that. It's okay. I mean, I wouldn't repurchase it. And then it's, I have a brow boss, like a clear brow boss it says. Oh, it's here. I just didn't see it was under the paper. But let me share with you first this milk. It says commodity milk um scent to space bold for me and everyone else let's see so it's like a perfume and 
yeah it is it's a little sample size perfume little deluxe size sample let's spray it i haven't put perfume on since i got out of the shower so oh hmm it almost feels like a perfume oil it's oily and it's very kind of i don't know it's strong i guess because it's an oil what are the notes on it i wonder if they say it was made in New Jersey, USA. Um, it doesn't say the notes, and I am not good with notes. Well, at least not these ones. Let's see on the packaging if it, on this, maybe the pamphlet, if it has. Okay, so it says, uh, this perfume blend of marshmallow to tonka bean milk is comforting like a vanilla steamer, but still massage massages to feel cool nuanced and grown up i think what i do smell is the tonka bean and the vanilla i don't i don't know if i get a marshmallow it feels like it's like it's a seems like a scent a guy or a girl could wear so it's kind of like masculine it, it has a little bit of masculinity in it and but yet feminine too so it's a nice scent i'll i'll use it definitely will use it up um because i love perfumes and um i almost will wear like anything i think <laughs> almost not quite um here is the little brow boss i got by something jasmine beauty it says and if i can use the scissors I set a pair of scissors right here. Okay, so it looks like this. I think this came in my original box as well. So I have two. It's just a little brow gel. Very cool. Um, I'm excited to try it out. And yeah, I've never had anything like this before. I wonder if it makes your eyebrows look kind of like the laminate. Um, it says brow styling wax. So I wonder if it makes your brows look kind of have that laminate look. I don't know. But there is that box. This is the original box, I think. Again, it comes with the little pamphlet. I'll use, have it right here because and then the paper, the tissue is red in it. The other one I think was white. And then yeah, here's my original happy skin and it I think I had already opened it. Probably should have put this one in the shower, not the, the other one, but I'll hold on to it. Cause I love face scrubs in the shower. I got a, um, it says give the perfect gift. It makes a beautiful birthday. Like if you wanna buy a gift for a male, and then they also have a gift search subscription little card right here for some a female or somebody. Um, and then just another little card. Here is the YSL, the other one that I got. So happy. This is 161 in Rosewood Beat. Yeah, I remember there wasn't that many options at first. And then when I got the other one, it seemed like there was another option of color that I was like, hmm. And there's Rosewood Beat. Very, very pretty. I'm so excited to have this. And then I got, again, the Brow Boss here. I, I'll probably just gift one away to someone. I got another one of these Commodity Milk perfumes. Another I have a um, lotion, so moisturizer. And then another Tri Balm. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep everything. I think I might give some of this stuff away, maybe to my mom or my sister because I don't need double of everything, but I just really wanted the other balm or the um, YSL Rogue Shine Vol Volupte Shine is what it says. Yeah, um, oil and stick it says. Okay, so that is February's the two February boxes I got. Basically the same, just the, the lipstick was a different color. Um, I think this is the other one, yeah. That's the other one. My husband's probably like, why does she have all these little boxes everywhere? Um, okay. This is April's box, so I'll show you guys April's in a minute. 
But here is March. It's a little bit heavier. And here is a little pamphlet that it came with. And I'll keep it nearby so I can easily tell you what it is, the things that are in here. Okay, the first thing that I have open is a whipped coconut makeup remover, which is awesome. I just purchased some makeup remover though and some face wash, but I am excited to try this out. It's a whipped coconut makeup remover, mango seed butter, ginseng, and white tea by, I guess that brand is Strip Makeup. And it looks very like, like foamy in there. So it has an interesting texture that looks interesting and kind of has like a, like a light coconut scent. Um, I don't know if it's like my favorite coconut scent, but it's just like a plain light, like coconut. Then I got this cream highlighting stick. And it's by 1999, 19 or 99. There's a slash. Okay, and then yeah, 1999 is what it says. And here is the color. Let's swatch it. I think this is really pretty. Very pretty for spring, summer. Um, I already do have highlighter and blush on, so I'm not gonna try it out. And then I got Oh, this is in the color Melly, Melly or Miel, Miel, maybe that's honey in Spanish. Uh, Perfect Clean Scalp Balancing Shake Rinse by Nature Lab Tokyo. And I will try this definitely because I have like itchy scalp. It says sake water and rice water. So it's a combination of those two waters together. And... Yeah, so I'll definitely use that. Next is from Sulwasu. Su? Sulwasu? Um, it's a First Care Activating Serum number six. And it's like Roman numeral number six. And I think I've had this before. It's First Care Activating Serum. I usually get them in the little tiny like foil paper samples. So I will use that up. Then I got a Libre Perfume YSL Libre like little sample. Here it is. I think I have had this before. I don't remember if I like it or not though. I don't think I did because usually when I like something, I'll put it like on my, in my cart. Oh wait. Oh no, this does smell good. It's like kind of like a sweet floral. Um, let's see what the notes are if it has it on here. Mm, I don't see. Oh, it says orange blossom flower from Mor Morocco, luminous, sensual white flower. That's why it smells strong with the white flower. Twisted by, twisted by the lavender from France, and ambiguous flower often considered as masculine, bringing boldness, freshness, and texture. I smell the freshness, and I think the note that I smell the most is the white flower. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then lastly, in this, oh no, I have two more items. I got a palette. I don't think I've opened this box really. That's crazy. Okay, so I have this cotton candy champagne blush lighter palette. Or maybe I did and it just when I closed it back up, it looks like I never opened it. Um, yeah, so I got this palette. And it's a blush palette. Very cute, very pretty. Doesn't have a mirror. Um, and it's just like a cardboard packaging. But I am down to try this. I like it. It looks pretty to me. And I love face palettes. Um, if I had more space in my house, I would buy more. But I don't. So I'm trying not to buy any more palettes or anything really right now. Because I have a lot. Um, unless I see a good deal, then that's kind of like my weakness. And last but not least, I have a Celery Hyaluronic Fresh Press Sheet Mask. This is by Sweet Chef. And yeah, I'm going to try that out. And that is it for March for my box. Okay, and then I got April. 
<laughs> We're almost done, you guys. If you've hung out with me this long, thank you. Here's April's, and I did do a video yesterday, but I looked awful in that video, so I was trying to edit it, and I'm like, no, I'm just gonna throw it away. So, yeah. The main thing in this box, you guys, was the Charlotte Tilbury um, bronzer. It's a cream bronzer that just came out. Um, it is retail price at $58, and I mean, this whole box was only 27, so it was well worth it. I did use it yesterday in my get ready with me, and I accidentally jabbed my nail into it, so you'll see like a little gash right there. But it is so nice, it's so creamy. Um, here is a swatch, and I think I, I did good picking my shade. Um, so yeah, I like to like cream contour under my neck right here because getting like a little double chin. Um, with my my anemia, I haven't been able to exercise as much as I normally do. Usually by now I'm signed up for a 5k run or something and I'm exercising and getting ready for it like every day, like from now through the summer. But yeah, so here's my little contour. I should do the Kim K one where it looks like a little light bulb. Anyway, so yeah, here is the cream bronzer. I don't have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury. Her, her stuff is kind of pricey. I really, really want to try her lip glosses and the new lip plumper that just came out. But it's in my cart on Sephora. It's just I haven't got the guts to spend that kind of money yet. So next item is the Fruita or Fruitia. It's a green grape pore control cream. So it looks like a little honey pot, so cute. I love it when brands use like cute packaging like this. And yeah, it's just like a, it's like for big pores. I used it yesterday in my video. I put it over my nose. It seemed to work good, but then I had like a lot of clogged pores. So I'm like, oh, I should clean my face better. Um, I cleaned it today pretty well, um, but yeah, I didn't use it. I also got this vitamin E bag balm lip moisturizer it's just kind of like a plain balm i thought it would have like a minty like flavor or scent to it and it's just a balm and i canceled allure because i'm like i have enough stuff i just really wanted those ysl like lipsticks so i won't be getting any more of these because i know they come in their boxes like all the time like i watch riri's channel and she's like i always give these away and yeah um i also got this grande lash md lash enhancing serum i already have one of these but i'm gonna i need to start using these i'm gonna try to use them um and then i got i think i'm almost done yeah second to last the Cara. Kara Asata, mm, I'm really bad at saying this. Kara Stasi. Kara Stasi, it's like a hair gloss, I think. You put it like from the bottom half of your hair down and then you rinse it off in the shower. You leave it in for like a minute. So I'm excited to try it out. Today I tried a new um, conditioner, like a mask, a hair mask. It was like a coconut fig one that we got in BoxyCharm. But anyway, so I'm trying hair stuff, you guys. You'll see it in my empties, the little packages and stuff. Last but not least, I got another perfume, and I love perfumes, you guys. This is the Missy Perfume Oil, and this is by Rosie Jane. And this one smells so good. It reminds me of Jador by Christian Dior. I used to have that perfume like a long time ago. It's very floral, like a sweet floral, but it's not like... To me, it's not that strong. I feel like it's like a soft, like if people smell you, they just be like, oh, she smells good. You know what I mean? So I like it. And yeah, that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you're loving. If you get Allure, what did you love in your boxes? Um, are you planning on getting it if you didn't? Yeah, but Thank you so much again, you guys, for watching. Like, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.